Let's break it down. Break it down. Tua has the inside track to winning the MVP this season. He does. Let's look back first before we go forward. Today, of course, is a huge one, but he's already made his case and he is the front runner. Started in week one, huge game against the Chargers, winning 36 34. A lot of people watching. It was an afternoon game. You think? I was, was um, I don't know if a lot of people watching because uh, there was a lot of games separ- uh, spread out. But it was an that afternoon game. One. It was an afternoon game. It wasn't the prominent game, but it was to me the best game of week one. And he checked that box. He checked three unbelievable, boxes. Uh, performance. Three boxes. He gets the win. He has a great game and he wins the duel against Justin Herbert. That's, and nope. you know, yes, narratives matter. Go up against the Patriots. You beat Belichick. Give him a check there. You own Belichick. Broncos, you were basically perfect and scored 70 points. We haven't seen 70 dropped in a long time in an NFL game. Could have been more. Go to the Bills. You got handled. Okay. But you get the Buffalo back at the end of the season. Right. You got a chance to go up against Josh Allen again. You get a chance to redeem yourself. Week 18 could be for the AFC East division title. Where all the marbles. Yeah, that game's going to be exciting. So the Giants, you win 31 to 16. You do what you got to do. New York market saw you. Yeah. They saw you played well, even though you did have two turnovers, but you did outplay their quarterback. Panthers, you show that you can come back from a deficit. You're down 14-0, even though they're the worst team in the league. Give them a check right there. You did what you had to do. Tonight. Tonight. Let's talk about the boxes you have to check. I'm liking checking these boxes. Number one, everyone's watching. Huge game. All eyes on you. Play well. Check. Win the game. Two a pack. Check. And you know what the third check is? Versus Jalen Hurts. Exactly. Yes. Check. Come on. We need the we need the narratives. We need the subplots. And you, guess what, guys? This is a good subplot. Woo! You do what you have to do tonight. You check those three boxes. Ooh. You are way inside on this track to win the MVP. Now, go ahead against the Patriots next week. Check whatever box you want. November 5th. Frankfurt, Germany, the Chiefs. Monday, I mean, Sunday morning. Ah, breakfast of champions. While I go get my Vecchi Bakery or Vicky Bakery, I don't know. I've always wanted to know the battle Vicky. between Vicky. Oh. No, but there's Vecchi also. Oh, there's a there's a Vecchi and there's a Vicky. I don't mm. know. I've, I've been trying to figure out who was first, who's better. Nobody wants to let me know. Ah. 305-56705. Now, if, now, if one of those bakeries wants to drop by some product and have us figure it out on, on the radio, we'll we be more than happy to do that. Whoever wants to drop off every Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, or Sunday after uh, Sunday afternoon between noon to four, and we, you know, Eat like it. we'd like to try your beautiful, oh. beautiful bakeries and uh coffee, pastries, and, and coffee pastries and, and all of that. cakes and sweets. And we will give you the decision of who is the best bakery. But yes, and I mean Christmas is coming up. Hum. Uh, Panda Hamon, bring a vibe. We're ready. Okay. But yeah, the Chiefs, Mon- oh, it's Monday, Monday. Sunday morning, so many boxes for Tua to check. Number one, the feature game of the week. Once again, that's a big deal. Everyone's going to be watching, or at least everyone's going to be talking about it. Number two, you play well. Check. Number three, you win the game. Check. Number four. You beat the defending Super Bowl champions. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you beat the Eagles, you defeat the NFC defending champions. And number five, you beat Patrick Mahomes. That's a lot of checks. You're talking about the Chiefs. Yeah, if you play the Chiefs. Yeah, you beat the defending AFC champions. Well, you beat the Super Bowl champions. Oh, you would have been. But listen, you would have beaten beaten the two finalists Mm -hmm. of the Super Bowl last year. And if you outplayed them, you would have beaten last year's MVP. And you would have beaten the runner-up to last season's MVP. and then. To that, it. you that would be you check all those boxes, it's a walk to the MVP after the Chiefs Well, you game. have a game where on Monday night football against Tennessee, if you put up some numbers on there, then yeah, you're pretty much gonna be the favorite to go. And then there's one game. Mm. But it's two games. There's actually two games there's I'm two looking games. at right now, and I'm waiting for there's you to say it. Games. And I agree. I already agree. I know what you're and gonna say. And the great thing about this is both games are at home. And it's going to mean something. Christmas Eve, 425 against America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Everyone's home watching. You beat Dallas. That's going to be the A block. First story next day on every sporting show, sport news show across the country. Undisputed, first take, get up. 
you know, it's all they talk about. All they're gonna talk about our girl uh, Joy with uh, Speak. They're all gonna talk about the performance the Dolphins did against the Cowboys. And if Tua lights up that defense, especially that defense, that's a good defense with Michael Parsons and Michael Parsons. You're talking about uh, Stephon Gilmore, yes, indeed, uh, Tank Lawrence, all of them. You're talking about you do that against that team, and especially in a game where both teams will probably need to win to 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 solidify their playoff positioning and. You do that, then that leaves all all that leaves is week 18 against Josh Allen. There's, there's still a lot of boxes to check. I think the Jets, November 24th in New York. It's a three o'clock game. You're playing up against oh, it's a, a defense four o'clock that is game. I find out. Three it's o'clock four? is three o'clock is the pregame. I thought it was three o'clock okay. too. Because I have a theory that the NFL is gonna try to put two games on Black Friday starting soon. Yeah. And then maybe try to make it into a Three games on Thursday so, and three games on Friday. But if you win Black the Friday, first inaugural game, the inaugural Black Friday game against a defense that let's admit is stingy. They made Jalen Hurts look bad. Gets one of the best defenses in the NFL and that hopefully gets healthy and strengthens and and gets better. But you do well against that Jets defense, you pull out a victory. That's a lot of checks. That's a yeah, it's a lot of checks. You get the commanders the next week. You got to do what you got to do. You get the Titans on a Monday night. Once again, all eyes on that's me. That's a big that's like yeah. Tupac. I'd say, yeah, that's going to be, two, yeah, two, yeah. Get the Jets two again. Apart. We've already talked about the Jets, the Cowboys. Ravens are a good team. Look look what they're doing to the Detroit Lions right now. Is it still 28 nothing, or are they advanced it to 35 nothing? <laughs> I'm not asking if uh, the Detroit no, Lions no BS. scored. No BS. It's 28 nothing. And um, they just got the ball on a turnover on down. So you get the Ravens on New Year's Eve. And that's then- good. Oh, you know what? Those last three games are going to be tough. But then you might get the Bills for a winner take the AFC East division slash revenge game slash MVP race runner runner up slash winner. Low key, that Baltimore Miami game could be for the top seed in the AFC. It could be. But if Tua can answer, and I, and you know what, do we expect him to answer and check every single box? No, it's the NFL. It's it's almost impossible. But if you check a lot of boxes, Vlad, Tua. Very reasonably to say right now, this early in the season, has a great chance to be the MVP this year. 